Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will look at problem 1657 from the code. Okay, so here is the problem statement. So I want you guys to try this problem on your own. You can come up with your own pseudocode, you can come up with your own strategy, but yeah, try, think about your own approach before you look at my solution. Uh, so the strategy for this problem is that, <laughs> well, um, so don't get discouraged if you have not noticed like this pattern recognition but um if you do this kind of example here like you try this example on your head and you notice that you don't have to use like these two operations like existing uh swapping and uh transformation why is that uh, i mean well, well i'll talk about it later but uh so you don't really use those two operations at least for my approach i I will look at the um, other other solutions, like how other people solve this problem, but at least this is the way I did it. We first check if, I mean, the obvious case is if the length of word one and word two is not, are not, they are not equal to each other, then we return false. So that would be the case for this guy. Word one has a length of one, word two has a length of two. So there's no way you can transform you can go from word one to word two. So in that case, we return false. Now, otherwise, we uh, we do create a uh, two dictionaries. So here I'm using these two example, uh, and then you create two dictionaries. We'll just call them like dict one, dict two, okay? And then um, the key in for this dictionary will be like the letter you see. So in this case. We have a letter A, and then the value, the corresponding value for this key would be the total frequency. So the total number of no, number of times you have seen this letter in word word one. So if you look at for dig one, we have A, and then we have colon, and then we have two. What does that mean? We see two. Um, we see A twice in word one, and we see B three times and then C just once. So that is what's going on here. Now, so once we construct these two dictionaries, we do create a two more dictionaries and then we call them dig one reverse, dig two reverse. Now, what does that mean? So in this case, for these two uh, new dictionaries, the key would be the number of frequency and then the value for that corresponding key would be how many unique letters uh, have that number of frequency? So here we have a dig one, and then from dig one to dig one inverse, we have. Now you look at here. Uh, um, well, C has. Uh, C appears in word one, just once, right? So we have a. Um, the key, for this guy would be, uh, the number of frequency, and then. How many let um how many letters how many unique letters have total frequency of one? In this case, we just have C. And so we increment this by one, and then that's one here. And then now we look at uh, the uh, uh the key bell key key value of two. I mean I I should say for key key of two, meaning that for the number of frequency equals two. Uh, how many unique letters have that uh, frequency of two? Well, only A, right? So we have one here. If I had something like A colon two, B colon three, C colon one, and then let's say D colon two. In, in that case, this value would be two, not one, right? Because of that D, uh, D has also D occurs in twice in word one. And then for this guy, how many letters have total frequency of three? Well, just B. So we have one here. And then you do the same thing for dictionary two. And then you compare dictionary one reverse and dictionary two reverse. If they are equal, then we, we return true. If not, we return false. However, uh, this approach is almost correct, but we are not done yet. There is an example where this approach would fail. So what what are the um can you think about the case where this approach will not will not give you the right answer 
So actually, if you look at here, um, so we can only transform, like we can only transform from existing character to another existing character. And this is the key word here. So in this case, if I say, so this is another example. So word one, we have BIB and the word two, we have CCL. Now, if you do that approach that I just showed you, uh, that one will give you true, but it is actually false. Why is that? How, how would you transform from, how would you go from word one to word two? If you look at word one, we only have B and I, and there is no C and L, right? For, to change to, to go from word one and word two, like, unless B, word one has C or L, there is no way you can change B to C or B to L. So that is why, that, so that is one issue. So how do you address this issue? Well, we can create a two sets. So we just call them like set one and set two. And as we are constructing this two dictionary, right? So as we are constructing these two dictionaries, we create two sets, set one and set two. And then we just, we add letters we see to our set one and set two. So during this step, well, we can, we can have set one and the set one is equal to B and I, and then set two is equal to C and L. Now we check if set one and set two are equal to each other. If they are equal to each other, and if this, if these two are equal to each other, that means uh, we can, we can go from word one to word two using those two operations. However, if set one and set two are not equal to each other, but dic dictionary one reverse and dictionary two reverse are equal to each other, we still cannot go from word one to word two. So you just add this one additional like conditional statement, then this, this approach would work. So here is my code for this problem. So we have dictionary one, dictionary two, we have a set one and set two. I also create two additional dictionary, call them dictionary, dictionary one reverse, dictionary two reverse. Now we compare the length of word, word one and word two. If N1 and N2 are not equal to each other, then we return false. And that's for this example too. And then we are constructing our first, we are constructing our dictionary one and dictionary two, as well as um, constructing set one and set two. Now we check if set one and set two are equal to each other. If they are not equal to each other, then we just return false. Um, that will be this guy, this case. And then we will be creating a um, dictionary one reverse and dictionary two reverse by running the um, two uh, for loops. And we use that keys uh, method here. And then we'll be in incrementing you know, this by one, like all this keys value by one. And then we check if dictionary one reverse and dictionary two reverse are equal to each other. And that should give you the right answer for this problem. Okay, so here is the code that you just saw on my slide. And yeah, so this should, this will give, give me the right answer because I run it like before I made the slide. And yeah, so um, it's, I don't know, sometimes I got like like this 400 milliseconds, but but um, anyway, that, that's for this video. Um, so I really want you guys not to get discouraged if you didn't see the pattern, but um, um, as you try more, Hopefully you will see more patterns like this. Uh, anyway, that's for this video. Uh, for the next video, I will talk about that. I will do. I will make some slide on that gambler's ring problem. Uh, yeah. So that's for this video. If my video helps you guys understanding this problem, uh, please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.